Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl. Um, today I want to talk to you about sexing our cichlids. I want to share some uh, plans I have for my Habs and Peacocks 150 gallon aquarium and I really could use your input on something as well, so please stay tuned. This is my new 150 gallon Habs and Peacocks Aquarium. At this moment, I have 30 cichlids in here with 10 of them being female. My plan is to make this an all male community. I am at the point now where I know which are female so I can begin switching them out for new males. How to determine the gender of your cichlids is a very popular question in the hobby. However, it's not that easy with cichlids until they are more mature and their colors develop. There are elements to look at that will give you an indication that they are leaning more toward male gender or female, but none of these ways are very accurate. Looking at finnage length and shape is one of the more common ways of guessing gender. Until the cichlids are mature, they won't have the longer flowing fins, and by then, it's a good chance you can tell by their own coloration. Anal fin egg spots are another typical way to guess a gender. There are but very few cichlid species where the female has no egg spots at all. The majority of cichlid females have at least one. That being said, the male cichlids usually do have more egg spots, but not always, making this another guessing tool. Size is also an indication of gender, although it's only useful when the cichlids are full grown and mature. If you have dimorphic cichlids, which simply means they look completely different in color, obviously, it's easier to tell them apart. Ambuna cichlids are dimorphic and much easier to sex for that reason. Monomorphic cichlids are when the male and female look the same in shape and color until they near mat full maturation at which time the males will become more vibrant and the females will look drab in comparison. There is a good reason for this. The female being the egg layer and protector of the young needs to blend in with her surroundings and not attract undue attention in order for her brood to have a good chance at survival. The only sure way to determine gender on a younger cichlid is by the process called venting. This requires you to handle your fish in order to examine whether they have a vent or not. Netting the fish and then holding the cichlids in your hand while it's still in the net gives you a better grip and you're much less likely to drop the fish. Turning the fish over and looking at the area just above the anal fin, on a male you will see an anal pore for eliminating waste and then a smaller pore that is for emitting melt in the fertilization of eggs. Looking at the female, you will notice her pores are similar in size, one being the anal pore and the other being her vent, which is the passage your eggs will travel when being expelled from her body during breeding. In this group, I have two super red empress males and four females. I also have three lathronops intermediates males and one female. There are three electric blue fryeri males and three females. And finally, I believe all four of my dolphins are male. I have no trouble removing the females eventually, but should I also consider removing some of the males and only keeping one of each species? So far, I have had no fighting and don't plan on making these changes unless the males do start to fight. I find um, they get along really well. What is your opinion on that? I'm loving this 150 gallon aquarium. I can sit by it for hours and hours just watching them swim. My plan is making it a male only um, community, which includes introducing new species as I remove the females. It's a work in progress, but I eventually plan on having an outstanding community of amazing haps and peacocks. I don't plan on getting into predator haps. I want to stay with the smaller common haps and peacocks. I will add a stock list below for you to check out. And then I would love for you to give me some ideas of what I should consider adding to this community. 
once again I come to you for your awesome advice. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope your week is going well, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.